You make an IPA like a blind pirate. Bloody orange it is. Hey, it's Brain Ruffin back with a beer review, and here we have Blind Pirate Blood Orange IPA from Monday Night Brewing down in Hotlanta, Georgia way. This comes to us from our good friend Nick Utam over there on WCBS. Uh, I think he's on another podcast too, I'm not sure. He said mumbled something about that at Horror Hound in, in Indianapolis. But uh, so this is some of the stuff that he brought back. Actually, this is, I think is the last can I have of all the stuff he brought. Um, so this is a Blood Orange IPA. So depending on what they mean, where are they going to get some nice orangey flavor or it's going to be the orange rind, it's going to be bitter and dank. Nice grassy hops on the nose. They don't smell much orange. Ooh, it's got a nice interesting color though. Get a little bit more in there, but it's got a kind of a reddish orangey color, which is very interesting. It's a little bit more caramel color than a typical IPA. Ooh, that's interesting. Because I'm getting piney hops with a hint of something. Right, way deep in the nose, there's a hint of orange. Hmm. The blood orange is kind of mid-mouth and back. With the bitterness, it's kind of like of the rind, like the orange rind, which is what I thought they were going for. It mixes well with the hops, and then late, it's more of a hoppy bitterness. That's interesting. Because it has a smoother drinkability than a typical IPA. Got some yeast sediment there. Yeah, this is a very interesting beer. Because much of the bitterness mid-mouth is like the orange rind. It's real, like if you bit into an orange, you start chewing on the rind, you get this real pulpy um, kind of, you know, meaty bitterness and then it just kind of fades and there's this this hot bitterness that kind of lingers with it it's very interesting it's a very interesting dynamic now that I've poured this stuff at the, on the bottom we got a cloudier beer I wonder if the yeast will make a difference I didn't shake or disturb this beer before I poured it it's not like I rolled it around or anything off camera There's this fuller mouth feel that's very noticeable when you hold the beer in the front of your mouth that you don't expect from an IPA. An IPA is not a watery beer. It's not a porter or, a, or a, um, some of the stouts, some of the export stouts have this thinness to them when you, you don't, they don't feel like they fill your mouth. But this does, it's, kind of, it's not full. It's not like a milk stout or lactose or anything or something that, uh, or some of the juicy IPAs with the, all that either um, sometimes it's yeast, sometimes it's a high um, protein um, grains and stuff that they use that cloud the beer and it gives this real full feeling like you're eating you know, an orange or something uh, you know, juicy and just full in your mouth. But it's kind of in between and so it's, it's not expected in an IPA that's not a New England IPA. Um, so it has this medium mouth fill, full feel It's like a little bit like your, your mouth is full. You don't have to have much beer. It's not the foam. So I'm going to go under the foam this time. My son's gecko here. Getting in on the action. I forget what this one's name is. It was an injured one when he got it. And it's, it is reminiscent of a blood orange. Um, and the way it kind of feels and the way uh, from about mid, well, like right past the teeth, so still, still, uh, still, still near the tip of the tongue, but not, but from there back. So maybe that far past the tongue tip. Hmm, that is very interesting. It has this fullness about it that's not, like I said, it's not typical of an IPA. And it's, and I, I don't know how, you know, I don't know if it's the yeast. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, it's like it's almost like it, it's kind of a sort of, a, it's almost. There is developing, believe it or not. We have this northeastern IPA, and there's starting to be this, this southern pride, I guess you could say. There's starting to be, develop a southeastern IPA, which um, 
this might be kind of leaning towards that. So the idea there is, and I've even seen some where uh, there's a beer that's, was it Georgia or was it South Carolina? A lot of pine trees, so there's a lot of piney hops in this, but it's not bitter. It has this drink, it has, actually drinkability is such an overused term, but it doesn't have this hop bitterness that kind of knocks you in the back of the teeth, but it does have a hoppy presence from the piney hops. Then the pop, it's almost like the hop resin hasn't been boiled off, and then it, those oils mix with the beer, and you get this, this fuller feel. It's not like you're drinking milk or something. You know, think about when you drink just straight water. It's very, obviously, it's very watery. It's very thin. And then if you drink, say, like milk or something, like orange juice, something like that, it's got some substance in it. It's a little bit thicker. Then if you take that and you make a milkshake out of it, you get this real full feeling in your mouth. So this is kind of in between. Um, so maybe it is that, that idea of a Southern IPA, Atlanta IPA or Georgia IPA, I don't know. I know Georgia is known for its peach trees, it's not known for its uh, um, oranges, but that is pretty good. Now I've previously had this and a four and a quarter is what I gave it. And I, I stick with that, that uh, rating. It's got a little too much lingering bitterness for me. Um, and I'm not 100% sure what they're trying to do here. So if it's a development, if it's just a take on a style, it's a pretty good take on a style. I mean, four and a quarter out of five is not bad. That's a pretty dang, a pretty dang, uh, I don't even know. I've been up way too long today. But uh, it's pretty good. I pretty darn good at you know what I mean? Hmm. Now, I'm so, um, orange, uh, blood oranges, juicy caramel citrus. Uh, I would say that, a caramel citrus, we'd say caramel down south. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, independent, so we definitely have an independent brewer. Great, I love seeing that. And 7.4% uh, alcohol by volume. All right. Oh, almost party foul. So I'm going to check into it a second time because I'm actually reviewing it. Um, four and a quarter is my rating of uh, the Blind Pirate Blood Orange IPA. I think it's pretty dang on good. Uh, have you had this? Do you like it? Not like it? You think four and a quarter is a little bit too persnickety? I'm up. I gotta put my nose up when I say that. Or am I being over generous here because I got it from a friend? But uh, I like it. Monday Night Brewing. I would love to have an onion bun, cheeseburger, Swiss cheese, sauteed uh, mushrooms, and big fat sweet potato fries, and steamed broccoli. That's what I get with it. So thanks for clicking the like over here. Thanks for subscribing. Please hit the bell icon so you can get alerted when I upload new content. We've got all kinds of content coming crazily on this channel. I'm doing everything I can to get this channel to grow. And I want to hit 1,000 subscribers soon. It'd be awesome. All right, thank you very much, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Oh, I did that already. Uh, Morgan, the Hobbit. What are you two doing? Dozer? Tommy? How about that? Was that bad? Sit down, Dozer. Leave Toby alone. Just sit down. Look, I know you're a big puppy now. Everybody remembers when you were a little puppy. Don't be starting nothing, Tobuscus. We'll get cheese. Go sit down. Six minutes, we'll get some more cheese. <laughs>